Hello everyone, myself Devansh Kishnwani and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve the first problem on CSES problem set, the weird algorithm. The key points and the problem given are, first of all, we will be given with a number n and we need to perform two things. First, if n is even, then the algorithm is going to divide the number by two. And if it is odd, then the algorithm is going to multiply it by 3 means the number is going to multiply it by 3 and 1 will be added and that's 1. The second key uh, key points they were given is we need to do until the number becomes 1. So we need to keep on doing these above steps until the number becomes 1. So number becomes 1 we need to stop. Let's look at an example. Suppose n is 3. In the given case, n is 3. 3 is an odd number. So we are going to multiply this 3 by 3 and add 1 to it. This will give us 10. Now 10 is an odd number, even number, sorry, 10 is an even number. So we are going to divide this 10 by 2. This will result 5. 5 is an odd number. So we are going to multiply it by 3 and add 1 to it. This will give us 16. 16 is an even number. So again, we are going to divide it by 2. This will result as 8. And we need to keep on doing this until the number becomes 1. And we have to stop. So basically, we need to also display all these numbers. Let us look on the pseudo code. First of all, we need to perform. We will accept the number n from the user and then we need to check if n is even and the, and the even condition can be checked by the mod operation if the remainder when divided by 2 is 0 then we can say the number is even so we need to divide this number by 2 and if it is odd then the number has to be multiplied by 3 and add 1 to it like this given and we need to keep on doing this until the number becomes 1. Okay. So, uh, the algorithm named weird algorithm is not so weird. It is actually a collapse conjecture and it is nothing but a process to make the number eventually 1. A positive number eventually 1. Okay, let us code this in C++. Okay, so I am here on my VS code and let us start writing the code. First of all, let us include the library files which will be needed. This is included in the header file. Then we will create a namespace. This is nothing but a container for the grouping of uh, unique identity files. Then we will create a macro. Macro is nothing but it is a piece of code which is written in a program. So whenever the compilers encounter it, it is going to replace with actual piece of code. Let me give you an example here. So macros are created in C++ by this hashtag define and this is long long. Actually it is very long long to write. This is a type of data type and it is very long long to write. So we are going to define LL for this. So whenever this uh, compiler sees LL, it is going to replace with long walk. Okay. So now we will write the main section here. All the piece of code, actual logic will be written. And this is our template. And I will provide this also in the link. And as we go on, uh, encountering uh, more types of uh, uh, useful features we are going to add in this template. So this is our first template which we are going to use it. And uh, also for faster input and output we can use this uh, which provides uh, input output more efficient. So let me add this. You don't have to go much in detail. This 
this is the first template we have created now let us start the actual logic for the program first of all let us accept the integer and since we have defined our data structure long long as ll so we will initialize we will declare and initialize this variable n now we will get the input and now let us write the logic so what we have to do if n is even that means if n mod 2 is equal equal 0 we need to do two things first of all we need to display that number since uh, they have told to display also print a line that contains all value of n during the algorithm so we need to print that number so let us first of all print this or we should divide it this number by 2 and then print this with a space now if it is not an odd not an even then that means it has to be odd so we need to do multiply this 3 to it and add 1 to it again we need to display this n with a space all right and this process has to be done until the number becomes 1 so we can use a while loop and while loop with the condition we will pa pass the reverse condition we need to stop when the number becomes 1 so until the number is not 1 keep doing this process so if the number is not equal to 1 keep doing this whole process this process and as the number becomes 1 stop and let us look at the now you see let us run try and run here only the n is defined as 0 n is 0 Now, uh, suppose the number given as n equal to 3. Number is not equal to 1. So, we are going to check. If number is odd, it is even? No. It is, so, that means it has to be odd. So, we will come here and then we are going to multiply this with 3 and add 1 to it. This will result as 10. And 10 will be displayed. But you see here, they have given to print a line that contains all values of n during the algorithm. So this input 3 has also be displayed here because this is also a value of. So we need to print here. So after accepting, we can just give the display here only like this. So we are. So here only this will 3 will be printed. Okay, so let us just submit this problem. Okay, so it has been accepted. Now we will see an another approach the solution to this problem is done but now we will see uh, another approach which is a recursive approach and uh, let us look at it okay so let us look at the recursive approach to solve this problem recursion is a function calling itself it has two things first is the base condition and the other one is the recursive Function. In this given problem, let us define a recursive function first of all. We need to do two things. Let us define this function f of n. If n is odd, then we need to multiply this number by 3 and add 1 to it. If it is even, then we need to divide this number by 2 and if it is 1, then we need to return 1. Base condition is the con is the condition where the where the 
recursive function terminates so here we can closely clearly see that one is that condition because at, when the number becomes one we need to stop so now let us write a pseudo code with this let me define function name as weird and it will accept again long long and let me de define the return type as void means it is not going to return anything first of all let us write the base condition base condition base will be if number becomes one stop means you need to return and where it will be written we will see and if it is not if it is even number that means the number should be divisible by 2 then what we need to do we need to first of all display we are going to display with an space and then we will call this again with n by 2 parameter right because now we need to call back and we will again check if number is even or it is one or what or what so whatsoever now if it is not even then we will check for another condition which is for which is for odd means else if it is not then we need to display number multiply with three and add one to it and a space and again we need to call this with this new parameter That's all. This all we have to do. This is a recursive approach. We can see it is very simple. We just need to define the uh, rec we need to define just the recursive function and we are done. And in the main section, we are going to call this in the main section we are going to call this after accepting accept accepting the number from the user and then uh, as soon as we are done we need to display like we did in the previous case that number because as soon as we are going to enter it, it is going to check as in as in the case if n is even n is even and n is 3 so here it is n is odd so let me this will not execute this even condition it is going to execute this condition and it is going to display the 10 so we need to display that 3 also that's why we are printing here with a space and then we will call this weird function with n that's all we need to do let us try and run this program with uh, as 3 parameter so 3 is going to go here it is not equal to 1 so it will come here it is not even also it is odd so it will go it is going to first of all print this with para, with 10 it is going to print this and then it is going to call so in the display we will have 10 and it is going to call this again with this parameter now it will go again it is going to have check again it is not equal to 1 it is 10 is uh, 10 is even right because this 10 will now go here it will check it will come here it is even so it is going to display 10 by 2 that is 5 and it is going to again call with this 5 so 5 is going to go here and again it is going to check 5 is out so again it is going to print 16 and it is going to pass again 16 again it is going to do the same thing it will go it will divide by 2 because it is even it will perform this then it is going to print 8 again it is going to do go and call it 8 so like this it is going to display all this and three since three has been displayed here at the first call before calling this function so this is also going to display and 
and as soon as we enter enter this one as soon as n becomes one we are going to return back so this is how we are going to do the recursive approach and that's all in this video and i will provide all these links the solution even this file also in the description below and i will see you in the next video bye